Good morning. I have a, a little message for you guys this morning. Forgiveness is not for the forgiven, but more for the forgiver. Let me explain myself. I have somebody that I used to hang out with, right? And when we, I decided to stop hanging with this person, I got all the text messages in my phone being insulted, called out of my name, disrespected, and we've all been through that. And I could have got up, you know my mouth, I could have insulted him, disrespected him and everything, but I realized that when people are hurt, they try to hurt other people. So if I know that this is your way of showing hurt, why would I sit here and hurt you and hurt myself in the process just because you're hurt and you're exposing your hurt? It doesn't make sense. But so many times in life, we fall into that little hole, little gap. They're hurt, they're mad. Once you realize that this has nothing to do with you, they're just mad, they're just hurt. This is how they express their anger and hurt. You don't have to respond to that. You do not have to respond to people's anger, hurt, disrespect, and all that. You can walk away with your head held high. Life is hard as it is. And there's so many people out there that don't feel loved. So when somebody actually feels dropped, they will act ridiculous and belligerent. It has nothing to do with you. That person that is in your phone calling you names, it has nothing to do with you. It doesn't take away from who you are. It doesn't take away from what you were meant to be. It just shows who they are, where they are at mentally, and how they were taught to resolve problems when they were growing up. Now, do you have to react to every single thing in the world? Hell no. You got to be bigger than that. You got to be able to say that, hey, I forgive you. You don't deserve my love. You don't deserve my forgiveness, but I forgive you. Not because it's good for you, but because it's going to free my peace and my soul. It was hard for me a year ago to be able to forgive people the way I do today as easily as I do. But you know what? I read a quote somewhere that said, um, forgive people as quickly as you would want God to forgive you. And that did it for me. That did it instantly for me mentally. Now, when somebody hurts me, I look at you and say, Lord, if I had done that, I want you to forgive me this quick. So it takes me a minute, but I pray about it. And I say, you know what? You ain't even worth it. Because people's words only have the power to attain you, touch you, hurt you, disrespect you, destroy you. If you give those words any worth. If somebody comes in and calls you, oh, you're a bitch, excuse my language, but it's an example. You're a bitch, you're a whore, you're this. And you know you are not that. Why are you getting hurt? That's what they know. That's what they've heard People, men call women. That's all they know. And as a man trying to hurt a woman, he will go for your dignity, for your pride. He's going to he's gonna hit low. He's going to throw jabs at you. But you got to look at him and say, damn, you're in a bad place. Because you got to be really hurt to try to hurt somebody this bad. And if I'm not hurt, you're not going to hurt me like that. So you got to get to a point where somebody smacks you. You look at your jaw and say, hmm, still pretty. And you keep walking. It's not about if they ask for forgiveness. Some people will never acknowledge that they did something wrong to you. So they will never even apologize for anything. You got to get to that point where you assess and address what people do to you and around you. Sometimes it ain't got nothing to do with you. You just happen to be there at the wrong time, at the wrong place, with the wrong person, receiving the wrong things. Now, you don't have to keep holding that on and walking around with it. You can say, you know what? All right, that's how you feel. Good. Karma. Is, is gonna get you and God is gonna unlock different kind of blessings for me when I choose to forgive you and walk you don't have to forget but you gotta forgive for your own peace because you need peace in your heart it's not about the next person because after they curse you out they feel that momentary peace and then they start feeling weird about it they might not tell you about it you might never see it but they do feel weird about it and whatever blessings were coming upon them, it's going to slow down for a minute. So remember, the blessings you get are quantified and qualified in the amount of forgiveness, peace, clarity you bring in your heart and your life. Do not take people's hurt personal. It has nothing to do with you. It's them, them, and then them. 
forgive yourself first for letting anybody and everybody come into your life, hurt you, stomp on your heart, punch you, insult you, disrespect you, and allowing yourself to be disrespected and hurt by these people. Now, when you're done with that, take a good shower and tell yourself, I love you. You're still the daughter of the mo most amazing God, and ain't nobody can get to you unless you let them. Send this message to a friend today. I love you.